it's noisy. Hey, hey. Hello. Happy Friday. Good morning. It's time for Friday Live. We're walking. We're talking. We're moving <laughs> in. Grooving. Oh, nice. Is that a song or you just make that up? I heard it somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> but I don't know if it was that words. Oh, look at this. So we're going to talk about respiratory health today. Seems like there's lots of fires going on in and around Alberta. Well, we see fires and smoke is blowing in. Oh, right. To Alberta. We've heard some family members and some friends talking about how it's pretty smoky and it's, a, you know, it's hard, harder to be outside, harder to breathe, hard on the lungs, the eyes, the whole system. Yeah, and it gets smoky here too like in LA, but not right now. Usually, there's fires in the in the, hills. in the hills that blows down here. Actually, there's one time there were fires in Malibu, wasn't there, Dorothy? Yeah, that seemed like super close. We could actually see them burning from here, and uh, there's ashes on the vehicles. Mm. So that was kind of crazy. That was crazy. Super we, close. And we're so close to the water, you, you can't get out every way so we had a little bit of an evacuation plan yes didn't we we had a little suitcase packed <laughs> yeah that was a bit scary yeah. but that's what people are going through in bc right now for sure and then the smoke is going coming over to alberta so it's kind of crazy yeah let's know if you're tuning in live say hello yeah so we can say hello back or if you're watching the replay let us know that too I'm pretty sure we can see comments here. So Hopefully, because I did not bring my phone. Because guess what? It's dead. It's dead. <laughs> Typical. It's Dorothy's thing. She has dead electronics. Except my watch. Watch is always charged. <laughs> Dorothy's actually on. What number day running are you on, Dorothy? Yesterday was 195. Wow. So today will be 196. So 190, today's 196 consecutive running days in a no row. No days off. Crazy. I know. How are you feeling? That's why my recovery has been my part-time job. <laughs> my yeah. arm is getting tired. Can you hold that? Uh, oh no. I'm trying to. <laughs> Here, let me think. I have pockets. You're going to spill it. Drink it faster. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Yes, poor tea, green tea, and ashy taba tea. Yeah. So we're gonna go down to the water, and we'll see if we can get you guys a water background. A nice ocean background. Check out this Captain Kids. Oh, we could just do it right here. This is a cool background. I don't know. I would say I'm going close to the water. I just said I'm going further. Okay, let's go further. You taking my this morning. <laughs> so tell me, do you have a tip, Dorothy? One of your respiratory I tips? I do have an oily tip. Okay. So because our, the smoke, of course, reduces not just the air quality outside, but in our homes as well. So important to help improve the air quality in our house. So, two oilies that I use frequently. One, and this is all the time, not just when it's smoking, but RC, that one is actually respiratory care. Morning, Mark. It's a eucalyptus blend. So, we will often diffuse that one in our home to help improve the quality of the air and help with respiratory care. And then another one that we use. This is more, this is one we use more for running. Got to change hands since you're not helping me out oh. with the whole <laughs> caring situation. Carry on. Okay. Oh, look, and my hair is standing right up. <laughs> How do you like that for a Friday morning look? <laughs> Friday morning do. Oh, excuse oh my me. Goodness, this is Drew's in the way. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dorothy, what would it like to be front and center? Well, I am trying to get a tip. <laughs> so essential oils are 
great, like I said, for helping open up these ones I'm showing you help open up the airways so you can breathe a little better. This one is actually called Breathe Again. Okay. Okay. I don't mean to see it. Oh, okay. You can show it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tore down, getting kicked. <laughs> kicked in the ribs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> morning, Anna. And it says, Good morning, d, &D. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a place to go where we could stand or sit. What I'm looking for. Uh, that's why I suggested back there, but Drew didn't like it. Well, that's like, uh, you know, we can hear everything from our place. Yes. You know, like we're, we're on a main stretch, so upstairs, we're upstairs, and it, you can hear bikers just having like a regular conversation because the um, noise travels so easily upwards, mm -hmm. and that's right at the bottom of the apartments. Like maybe people don't want to hear us. to the sun here because we're always outside so we try to protect ourselves from from the sun as much as we can wearing hats and we wear sunscreen and long sleeves but it's kind of inevi in inevitable <laughs> we get sun exposure <laughs> yes yeah, nice. yeah. and says maybe the neighbors should hear us love that just doing a quality public service for their <laughs> benefit that's great whether they want to hear it or not. <laughs> Look at these guys go. Surf's up. Lots of paddle boarders. I don't know if this is the proper way to say it, but lots of people who paddle board launch in this little nook here. Because it's nice and flat. Like the water is nice and flat. Nice. There's not many waves in this little nook. <laughs> I don't know what they call it, a bay? Is it a bay? We are in the bay, yes. I mean that it's Santa Monica Bay. They just did some. They just had some kind of like toxic dump in the ocean. <laughs> so the city got. It was the city's. Not not our city, but a couple cities, a few cities north of us. They um, had. A, what, what what do you call? Call it like a breakdown or. A, I don't know. Malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Major shampoo malfunction. <laughs> Explosion. <laughs> yeah, so they're working on. We have this lovely company called, um, like all um, non-profit, called Heal the Bay. So they came and were working hard to get it cleaned up, get that spill cleaned up. And letting people know. Right. I guess, some, I guess they weren't trying, weren't letting people know about it, like they were trying to hide it. Mm. And then, you can't be in the water, so I broke my streak. I was trying to go in the water every day. They don't recommend you're going in the water right now, but some people still do. <laughs> I'm guessing the people that were swimming didn't know yeah. that you weren't supposed to be in the water Yeah. until it got cleaned up or flushed out into sea. I don't know how well that works. Yeah, I don't know how they work it out. But anyways, so we res back to respiration, respiratory system. Respiratory care. <laughs> so I did mention my two essential oils that we use to help all the time with respiratory care. It's one of those things that 
we need to work on all the time, right? Not just when there's fires, not just when there's a problem. Something we need to take care of all the time. Yeah. So you had, well, sorry, well, I was busy there trying to find a place to sit. What was your, what was your first tip? Oh, I just mentioned two essential oils that we use. RC we use in the diffuser all the time to help improve our, our like it helps open up your lungs, expand your lungs, breathe easier. You can actually rub that one on your chest too. So just use a coconut oil or a different carry oil, carrier oil, like a fatty vegetable oil, avocado oil. And then you could rub it on your chest too if you're really having trouble breathing. And then breathe again. I don't know if I mentioned that one, but we use that one a lot for exercise as well. Not just when we need a little extra help breathing. Like before a run. Yeah. Purification would actually be a good one too to help clean your, the, the air quality in your home. So, so you can diffuse get those? those toxins out. Because there's so many toxins in the air because of the smoke, right? So we need to clean, we need to help clean the air. So that's one way you can. So diffusing? Yes. And rubbing the oils on you? Is yes. that you're saying? Well, that will help you breathe better. Yeah. So staying inside is one of my tips. I know it's not a great one because like we're outside people too, but on like certain days it's worse than other days. And it's the same thing we talked about pollen. Mm -hmm. like when allergies are season, like uh, seasonal allergies. Thank you. When seasonal aller allergies are bad, it's a good idea to stay inside on certain days. Mm -hmm. And that's just the reality of it. So you could consider the same thing if you're... Um, Hi. <laughs> you can consider the same thing when, like, when it's extra smoky outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, the toxins are going to leak into your home, but it'll be hopefully better inside <laughs> than outside for right. sure. And changing your fans, like changing your fans inside, like we have a we have a summer fan. Right? Is that what it's called? A summer fan? Yeah, like the summer fan that blows in the house. The furnace? Well, fan? is that what it is? A furnace fan, I think is what he's talking about. And we have, and you have, you have filters in there. Oh, yes. They change those filters. <laughs> <laughs> we actually put essential oils on our filter. Well, I do. <laughs> so, you know, your furnace filters, you can put some nice, healthy, you can put some purifying essential oils on those filters and then when your furnace fan kicks in it will go through the filter mm -hmm. so those blow through the house oh and you know what else we've done or we do is take those little cotton pads and we put them in our ducts like or like you know on the floor mm -hmm. you lift them out yeah. we put that because we put you can put essential oils on there as well all kinds of oil yeah <laughs> yeah is it Anna says that's awful smoke just literally took the wind out of me yesterday evening and night. So sad that we need to deal with it because without deal with it because without AC. What do you mean without AC? I don't know. Not sure what you mean without AC. Oh, I guess probably hot inside because you have to keep the windows closed maybe. Mm. And then you don't have AC to cool the place. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it. it's been hot there, hasn't it? I think so. I think around 30. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a that's that's the hard part about um, Alberta when it's hot because there's no relief. Mm -hmm. he, it's cooler here than Alberta, I think. Hey, yeah, for sure. Here we have a uh, it's comfortable here. Yeah, we have an ocean breeze, so it's not like you don't have to keep the windows closed. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes you might like when we had those we had those fires. I think it was was the last summer. We had some crazy fires. And I stayed inside for I think every year bit. there is. Every summer. Yeah. Mostly, I think. I don't think. There hasn't been too many summers without fires, I don't think. Yeah. So another thing I wanted to mention was the toxic buildup in our bodies. Drew and I talk a lot about detoxing because that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> but, and we talk about the toxins you can control and the toxins you can't control. And this is an instance where toxins are going to leak into your body that's out of your control. You can't control the fires. <laughs> you can't control the smoke. So you will have a toxic buildup in your body. 
from which could cause problems with respiratory but also with energy and other things as well so we need to make sure that we are getting those flushing those toxins out so hydration is really super important at this time because we know that staying hydrated helps flush toxins out of our bodies so making sure that you're drinking lots of water that'll help with your energy levels as well because when these toxins are leaking into our body it's going to deplete our energy levels because our body is trying to fight them off so our bodies are seeing these toxins enter our body and they're like yikes these don't belong here so they're trying to fight them off and that depletes our energy levels like our energy source is going there so making sure we're hydrated is at this time I mean hydration always important <laughs> but making sure you're staying on top of that just make sure you're drinking clean water yeah so like your tap water it's not clean water so it's important to pay attention to the quality of water so you have to boil your water like we do or you try to find bottled water but then sometimes the bottled water isn't as clean as they say it is so um, a really good filter for boiling your water and then you can put some like essential oils in there or something mm -hmm. to um, lemon would be really nice for <clears throat> detoxing yep. in your water um, I know this wouldn't be something that would be readily available to everybody but sauna is really good for detoxing so our friend one of our good friends is a firefighter and they are always recommended after fighting a fire to go in the sauna for an hour <laughs> which is a long time but to to, to release those those toxic build, that toxic build up in your body so if you have access to a sauna then that's a great idea at this time because we don't know what toxins are in the smoke Right? No idea. And there's so many things that are burning, right? And you don't know what kind of materials, what kind of toxins are in the smoke. So getting that toxic buildup out is really important. So sauna. Infrared sauna if you can. Yeah, if you can. It's probably the best option. option. <laughs> but otherwise getting a good sweat in, like sweating, like you have to sweat out the toxins. So right. Maybe if it's hot out, you just sit there and sweat. <laughs> in your house. In your house. <laughs> But uh, yes, so like any kind of sauna would be beneficial, but infrared's probably your best choice. Mm -hmm. And then um, charcoal. Charcoal is your best friend right now <laughs> because it helps re it helps release toxins from your body as well. We're big fans of charcoal. We take activated charcoal every day. So if you guys need some charcoal, we can help you out. But uh, there's so many benefits too activate charcoal so it's it's the toxins in the water we're drinking it's the toxins in the food so the activated charcoal actually absorb <laughs> it's not absorb it's adsorb so it like adds to the um it's like a sponge that's how i picture it so when you have put charcoal in your body the toxins attach to it it's almost like a binder and then it is flushed out through bowel movements so it's definitely beneficial. And it says, does taking charcoal help with airborne toxins, mostly for heavy metal and ingested toxins? See, but the thing is that, you know, so our skin is our biggest organ. So you are not ingesting the, the smoke toxins, but it's it's coming in, like you're breathing it in, it's coming in through your skin. It's absorbing into your body. So it doesn't- Even if you're not ingesting it. So it doesn't matter how it's getting into your body, it still needs to get out somehow. And most people wouldn't do much to get it out. It would just be stuck in there. Yeah. So then that's where we feel major disease comes from in our body. Um, just a continual buildup and not finding ways to properly detox. Yeah. So your, your um, green smoothies are going to be very important too to help flush out those toxins at this time. So making sure that you're eating lots of detoxing foods, veggies, lots of foods that are high in antioxidants is going to help with those free radicals. It's going to help fight off those free radicals. So Ning, our Ningxia Red. <laughs> A lot of these tips are tips that we should be doing on the regular. Like we should be doing every single day so that when times like this happen, when there is so much toxic overload with, with the smoke right now, for example, it's toxic overload on our body. So when these times pop up, 
your body has already built up a defense for it as opposed to trying to catch up. So we take our ninja red every day, we have our green smoothie every day, we eat lots of veggies that are rich in detoxing properties. <laughs> so we that's what we teach, that's how we live. We live a lead, uh, detox lifestyle. So it's not just once in a while, it's not on the weekend or just after summer, for example, when we do our sugar detoxes. <laughs> But it's all the time, so some of these tips that we're, again, as you're in our fit fam, so these are things we talk about on a regular basis, so paying extra attention to it now would be super important. Mm -hmm. And then exercising, of course, is going to help flush out toxins as well. Like Drew said, getting your sweat on. <laughs> now, LJ is one of, another one that we've been doing more research around and paying attention to, so LJ... So we had Sherry jump in here and Ben jumped in here. So thanks Good for morning. jumping in, you guys. Uh, LJ is another one. So spirulina is a big one and chlorella is also important. Tons and tons of minerals, B vitamins. Um, it's almost like a multivitamin. Lots and of antioxidants. Tons of antioxidants, B vitamins. And they're uh, super detoxing as well. I think it's the chlorella, right? Yes. Is The chlorella is more detoxing and the spirulina has slightly different benefits. So these are great for after workouts, pre-workout. Morning, Shelly. Yeah, we're doing lots of research on that right now, so more details to come. <laughs> yeah. We've been using it and experimenting with it for a while now, so yeah. just another additive. Sometimes it's really difficult to get the nutrients you need throughout the day, so sometimes finding clean supplements is a better way to go about it. We're definitely in our researching, <laughs> experimentation stage. You know, business, we, we, we talk about the different seasons of business. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're in the research experimentation <laughs> season. That's true. Uh, ben says, what beach are you at? This is Redondo Beach, Ben. Redondo Beach, LA. <laughs> like in the Beach Boys song. Yes, it is in the Beach Boys Surf song. Surfing USA. <laughs> Manhattan. It's in that song, too. <laughs> So I don't really have anything else. I think that's it for me too. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, uh, shoot us a message afterwards and we can talk about any other tips to help detox. But yeah, we do, like Drew mentioned briefly, we do sell um, a very high quality activated coconut charcoal. So if you are interested in trying that out to detox, then we can definitely help you out with that. Morning, Sandy. Sandy jumped in here. Ben says, live in the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely nice down here, Ben. <laughs> but um, I think that's it. Yeah, so just make sure, just a quick wrap up is make sure you guys are doing everything you can to avoid the smoke. And then at times when it's unavoidable, you have to detox, continue, continue to detox of that detox lifestyle through food and exercise, nutrition, and supp proper supplementation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And don't yeah. forget about your essential oils. Yes. If you have questions, feel free to message us as well, privately you need help with something or you have a question a more specific question you can always reach out to us and Dorothy's an Dorothy essential oil help. maniac yes I can help you with your essential oil needs <laughs> so if you need to order if you need any uh, essential oil questions shoot a message in I love questions you know what's funny is there's been a few people that message me and they're like I don't want to bug you while you're down at the beach <laughs> same thing guys <laughs> like work wise right so even though we are down here enjoying our beach house in, in um, LA here we are still working right so you're not bugging us <laughs> you're messaging us morning oh, we're away <laughs> still, working. still working people say vacation don't want to bother you while you're on vacation we're not vacation we're just working in a different area <laughs> <laughs> morning Jason hey Jason sent you a message not too long ago so get back to me when you get a chance but i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend yeah. weekend's coming up it's friday friday we got the car show tonight actually it's here at ruby's can you see ruby's diner i don't know oh yeah. yeah ruby's diner they actually shut down ruby's diner unfortunately we didn't really oops just this way there we didn't really eat there so much but it was still nice to have it they played the music and it was kind of old school what do you call it genre music area <laughs> era S era area <laughs> area era 
and um, anyways, but it's still there. And then Fridays, they just kind of started uh, the car shows again. So we'll post some pictures here, maybe tonight. And uh, that's fun. It's always a blast to see all these cool. <laughs> we always, um, Drew and I always pick out our favorite of the of the show. Yeah, it's kind of a little. Except last week he stole the same. I picked my favorite, and he picked the same one. That's a lie. <laughs> Ooh, oh it was my. beautiful. I actually want one of those. We're keeping you. <laughs> Suzanne said good morning. Morning, Suzanne. Hey. And Sue's in here too. We're actually just wrapping things up. So thank you guys for tuning in live. And then those that, of you that are watching the replay, thanks for watching the replay as well. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Make sure you we'll take care you of soon. that respiratory health. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye.